Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing you a tip on how to use Styler to efficiently manage your design system when you're starting up a new project in Figma. So let's get started. Uh, in this one, we have the text here. We have the text styles and I'm currently using Roboto Slab. I've left a link here so you can uh, later on experiment on this one, maybe use it on your projects. Uh, for this one, we have a uh, medium which is sized as 16 pixels with three styles that I've created the regular the regular one the semi bold and the extra bold and a 24 pixel size fonts as well for regular semi bold and extra bold and for extra large we have the 32 pixels what you can do here is all of the text uh, uh, all of the text layers you've created rename them specifically based on their size and classification for then later on to be generated by the styler in this one i have renamed this xl slash regular xl slash semi bold and xl slash extra bold this goes as well for the large ones and the medium ones now what you can do now is select all of these uh, text layers by holding control and shift and then holding control uh control slash and search for uh styler and if you haven't already installed styler just go to your community figma file and then search for styler this one you can find it here by andre uh this is used by many people in the industry and they're currently happy with this one since this efficient uh this creates efficiency in creating styles for their projects going back to our figma file after we selected all of these ones by clicking control slash and styler you can find here uh, uh, many options you can use to manage and optimize your design system as you use them but for this uh, tutorial we'll be using generate styles after we generated the styles we uh, a prompt will appear, appear in the bottom that we've created nine styles and there are no errors uh, being shown. If you look into our right panel here on our local styles, we can see it the XL ones are being grouped together and the large and the medium ones as well. This is because we've, we've named them with this slash uh, on the text layer that we've created. So be sure to add many types of classification or slashes you need in every parts of your style. So if you need this one colored the same or different way, you should be writing white. Moving forward on our color styles, we have a palette one here, which uses uh, four colors only. And for the palette two that uses nine colors on this part. Now, I have renamed each part, this one. If you can see, P1 stands for palette one dash red, and the other one, P1 to green, to purple, and to yellow. Uh, for the other palette, I have renamed them differently based on the U that they have been set on. This one is uh, 900, this one is 800, this one 700, and this one 600 and so on and so forth. Now, uh, if we select all of these colors, and then by clicking Control slash, then generate styles, all of these colors will be uh, generated based on the uh, naming convention that we've set as P1 and P2. So let's check this out. As we can see on our color styles, we have P1, P1, and P2. On our P1, we have these colors yellow, purple, green, and red. And for P2, we have 100, 200, 300, so on and so forth. Now, as you can see, the, the color styles have been organized accordingly based on our naming convention that we've set on these layers right here. Now, you can uh, experiment on this one, try on other uh implementation and how you can utilize styler and be sure to comment if you have anything that you wanted to ask and 
subscribe to my channel and like this video if you wanted for more tutorials like this and see you guys in the next one